Welcome to Small Acts of Observance. It's December 2015. Uh, we are at the Cedar Hill Rec Centre. The show has been put on by myself, Elizabeth Lytton, and my very dear friend, Lois Keating Fisher. Uh, the reason I chose to have an exhibition with Lois is because she is an amazing artist and I really wanted people to be exposed to her art. She is really, really interesting. She's 86 years old. She's been making art her entire life. She is self-taught and she's never had an exhibition before this. This is her first exhibition. Um, I, I felt that she deserved one and it was really, really difficult to um, choose from her hordes of artworks which ones to put on. So we decided to come up with the title, Small Acts of Observance, uh, as a way of narrowing down which artworks of hers to choose. Um, she uh, is, um, paints most of her paintings really, really quickly. She uh, goes out on her electric scooter with a canvas and some paint, and within an hour or two, she, in plain air, in situ, paints these things. She's amazing. It's like a camera. Um, these wonderful interpretations. Um, Lois paints uh, people she loves, people that are important to her, places that she loves, places that are important to her, and she has done that her entire life. Um, she comes to my house um, every Friday. I have a group of ladies that come and paint with me on a Friday morning, and they're all marvelously talented. Um, uh, but none of them are as prolific as Lois is, so I thought that perhaps I'd have another exhibition later on, maybe next year, with maybe two or three pieces from each of the other ladies, um, but Lois, I thought, could um, hold a show up all by herself, which is why she got this one. Anyway, we get together on Fridays, and we have marvelous conversations, and as you can imagine, somebody who's 86 years old has had the most profoundly interesting time. She's done so many really interesting things. She grew up on, um, in a, a small Canadian town. She has so much to say about what Canada used to be like back in the day versus what it's like now. Um, when she was really young, both of her brothers were killed within a week of each other um, in the war. And her mother was uh, mother of the year at the Remembrance Day ceremonies until her death. Um, so. Every year on Remembrance Day, she remembers her brothers, and I'm sure in between as, uh, as well, she remembers them. Um, uh, and we often actually talk about the potential of those two boys and what they should have become, and um, that shaped her life a lot, um, what she decided to do with her life. She's had so many grand adventures. She went hitchhiking in Europe when she was young. She had a, a, a pet parrot that used to ride on her shoulder. Um, and she worked in a marina. Um, she's had pet ferrets and all crazy stuff that a lot of people just don't do, wouldn't do anymore. Um, she worked as a sailing instructor and sailed people around the world. She's, uh, her children are dispersed across the globe. She's got great friends everywhere. She's full of life and, and um, she's so knowledgeable and delightful and it's so important for me to have a friend that's 86 who still has so much to do every day so much to live for so much information in her head she's so accepting and liberal and um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to have a show with her because I, I wish m more people knew about her can you talk about uh, the pieces that you have in the show? Well, right. well, the pieces that I've put on are pictures of my son Joshua. Um, I only uh, gave myself the back wall because Lois has 86 years of paintings to fit, and we, so I thought she should have the bulk of the, the wall. Um, I have, since my son was really little, been painting, um, documenting his life uh, every 12 months or every 16 to 18 months I do a painting of him documenting how he's changed, um, what he's learnt, my wishes for him, my hopes for his future, 
um, a kind of very allegorical paintings and I thought that um, that series of work would fit best with what Lois does with her documentation of the world around her and um, her observing of the people that she loves. So um, I just chose four of my, uh, my favorites of my son to put on the show with Lois's. The show is going to be here till... So up until 6th of January, so there's still time for people to come in and see it and hopefully they will.